How's it going everybody? Today I'm going to show you a beginner's guide on how to run Elasticsearch, Logstash, and Kibana, also known as the Elk Stack. Today I'm going to be running it on Ubuntu 16.04, but you can use any operating system you want as long as it has Java 8. First thing you want to do is open up your internet browser and go to elastic.co slash downloads. And here is going to take you to the Elastic download page. We're going to download Elasticsearch, Kibana, and Logstash. Since we are running it in Ubuntu, I'm going to download the tar file. And I'm just going to open it. And then I'm just going to extract it to a folder I called Elastic. I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing for Kibana. I have Linux 64-bit open it and extract it. Lastly, we'll do the same thing for Logstash. Download the tar, open it, and extract it. Okay, now that the downloads are complete, I'm going to clear my desktop a bit. And open up a terminal. Now, we're gonna go into where we have all three of our programs, Elasticsearch, Kibana, and Logstash. Like I said, I created a folder called Elastic. Now, if I list out our folders, you're gonna see it right there. Um, to run Elasticsearch, go into the Elasticsearch folder and type in dot slash bin slash Elasticsearch. Now this is gonna start our cluster. Here we can see the name of our node. It's gonna load in all the modules and it's gonna start Elasticsearch. Now, if you open up another terminal, you can test to see that Elasticsearch is working by running a curl command. Curl minus X get, and we can ping our local host at port 9200 and we should receive this statement, you know, for search. You can also open up your web browser and go to localhost colon 9200 and you'll get the exact same thing. Now, the next thing we want to do is start up Kibana. So go back to the Elastic folder, go into the Kibana folder, and just like Elasticsearch, we're going to do dot slash spin slash Kibana. Here we go. We can see the status of our cluster. It found it's listening on ports 5601 and it did find our cluster. So to see that Kibana is working, we can go to localhost 5601. One. And this is what Kibana looks like. Now the last thing we want to do is run Logstash. Open up a new tab on Terminal. And what we're going to do is, first of all, we need a configuration file because we do need to send some files to Logstash to be able to visualize it. So let's just create a new file. And this is gonna be our configuration file for Logstash. We will have one input. And in our input, we're gonna it's gonna be a heartbeat. We're gonna take it every 10 seconds. And it's gonna be of type heartbeat. Our output will be standard out. We're gonna give it a codec of Ruby debug. And as well as standard out, we're gonna output our data into our Elasticsearch index. So we're gonna type Elasticsearch. The host, as I mentioned before, is located, oops, 
is located on localhost 9200. And we're gonna put it into a specific index called Pulse. We're gonna go ahead and save that into our log stash folder. We're gonna name this myconfig.conf. Click save. Now to run log stash, we're gonna go back, go into the log stash folder. Now we're gonna do dot slash bin slash log stash. We're gonna give it the minus F flag to run log stash with our configuration file that we just made. So myconfig.conf and click enter. As you can see, it's starting log stash now. And it's gonna read our configuration file to start accepting documents. And here we go. Our standard output just found a document call and it's of type heartbeat. And then every 10 seconds, it will find a new heartbeat. Now to visualize our data, we're gonna go back to Kibana, go over to management and click index patterns. Now in this screen, Kibana is gonna look at all the indices available in our Elasticsearch cluster. And it did find our index that we labeled before called Pulse. So we're just gonna go ahead and add that. Click next step. And for the timestamp, we're just gonna leave it to the default. Then click create index pattern. As you can see on the left hand side, log stash is gonna be continuously running and taking in heartbeats every 10 seconds. Now, if we click the Discover tab, you'll be able to see all the documents that it's ingesting. If we open one up, we can take a look, closer look at the document. Here we see that it's at a heartbeat and we are on the Pulse Index. Thank you for watching, everyone. This has been a quick beginner's guide on how to run the Elk Stack. To learn more, please subscribe below and I'll be doing a lot more Elastic videos Thanks for watching.